actions for executives in large organizations. Set the tone. First, recognize that what you do and say sets the tone for the rest of the organization. Remind yourself that culture trumps strategy, and your actions shape the culture. Make a conscious effort to serve as a role model for teamwork and call attention to its importance. Evaluate the teamwork of your executive group and communicate your expectation that they function together for the greater good of the organization. Tell them that, as executives, they should put on the big company hat rather than their small, functional hat. Hold yourself accountable for creating broad-based understanding of the business strategy. Constantly ask yourself what you can do to get everyone moving together into the future. Finally, reward and recognize those who are strong team players. Streamline and audit communication. Focus on a few essential messages about strategy and direction, repeat and reinforce those messages often. Use the communication channels and vehicles that are most appropriate and compelling for your organization. Learn to use technology to add a personal touch to your broad, strategic messages and use those messages in inspiring ways to get results. Help people understand their contribution to the success of the enterprise. Recognize when you are altering your course and communicate accordingly. Avoid assuming that everyone will get it if you change direction. Take special care to take your leadership team and your workforce with you as you chart the course into the future. Use listening posts. Third, establish some listening posts to enhance two-way communication. Avoid relying entirely on your direct reports to tell you what is going on deeper in the organization. Use all employee surveys to put your finger on the pulse of your organization. Use the results to make it easier for people to execute and drive the business. Conduct focus groups of high performers to learn what prevents them from doing their jobs well. Attend the focus groups yourself to hear firsthand what people are thinking, and ask a recorder to document the results. Invite horizontal slices, peers from a variety of functional areas and geographies, to lunch or coffee and take the opportunity to discuss your business strategy and answer questions. Again, Ask someone to record what you learn and then work to address issues you identify. And make sure that the actions you take do not feel punitive or reflect badly on those who had the courage to speak up about their concerns. Create social capital and look widely for solutions. Cultivate broad-based solutions to vexing problems by offering cross-functional action learning development programs to high performers across the organization. Action Learning Programs 9 bring together high-performing peers from various areas of the business to solve real business problems under the sponsorship of a key executive. These high performers have an opportunity to develop skills and insights needed by the business and to advance their understanding of the business while they develop strong, enduring peer relationships. When they have completed their action learning experience, equip them with messages that create deeper broader understanding of strategy and deploy them across the organization. Use them as a cadre of cross-functional peers who can look beyond their areas of purview for holistic solutions to difficult challenges. Develop simple organizational design. Simplify the organization to eliminate unnecessary confusion and conflict. If you have a matrixed organization, Your TROP management team must provide integrated direction and model integrative behavior.10 Develop clear charters for lateral and vertical units. Create integrating mechanisms, such as councils, again with clear charters that foster collaboration as needed to ensure the right amount of coordination for critical tasks. Figure out how you are going to deal with internal conflicts and how you want your leaders to escalate matters that need resolution. Clarify roles by calling on all managers to eliminate ambiguity and make sure who is accountable for which core processes that might be shared by two or more managers, who gets 51 votes and when. Ask your managers to target their communication and coordinate where needed to avoid confusion. Recognize that working in a matrix is difficult, 
so limit the number of dimensions to those that are absolutely essential. Do whatever you can to keep things simple. In addition, monitor the number of layers in your organization and resist the temptation to add layers as you grow. If too many layers are impeding your progress and limiting your success, determine what kind of organizational design principle will best serve your business, customer focus, product line, geographic, front office back office, for example.11. Develop and use peer relationships. Even senior managers can benefit from peer relationships. Unfortunately, such peers are not likely to reside within your organization. As a result, you may want to look outside not only your firm but also your industry to cultivate new and creative solutions. Seek out others from diverse sectors but from organizations with similar philosophies about performance. An example is a six-year-long group called the Gang. 12. This group of seven includes organizations ranging from dance to software and advertising, law enforcement to football, theater to health information. Senior leaders meet to compare problems and lessons, and have discovered over the years that they have more in common, despite their divergent industries, than not. As one of the leaders has said, once best practices in your industry are documented, they become normal practices. Going outside your field is where you get new ideas.